since that, that budget deal. I, I'm just curious, I mean, do we have anything in, in Obama's life where he's been able to do a course correction? And is there anything in his life experience which is something that's, I mean, important to all of us, naturally, but he, he's so much a candidate of biography. Can well, you think of anything? I can't, I can't really think of anything. Uh, and in part, it's because, you know, he got to the White House, relatively speaking, without a lot of the struggles that other presidential candidates have had. Bill Clinton. Uh, he constantly was having to remake himself. He gets elected. Well, you know, he loses in 76 in, in a political campaign. He gets elected in 78, governor. Uh, he gets, uh, he loses in 1980. He has to recreate himself and get elected again in 82. He has a disaster a at the point. convention in 88. He has to scratch and claw his way back in 92. In New Hampshire, before the biggest primary uh, in his political life. Uh, he's got a scandal that comes out, explodes, and he's got to scratch and claw his way back. That's a guy that gets elected in 92. He has to do a radical course correction in 1994. He brings in Dick Morris and says, Republican Dick Morris, save me. Well, everybody in his White House hated Morris's right. guts. They resented Bill Clinton for doing this. And guess what? Radical course correction. He turns around and he beats us about the head, us Republicans that thought we finally had him in his sights. We thought we had him again in 98. He turns around, he survives, he leaves with a 60% approval rating. Why? Because he constantly made course corrections. I don't have to tell you about FDR. FDR was constantly improvising. Well, there's no new people in that Obama circle to do. I mean, there was no, not, of course not. I mean, you know, they the idea of bringing the decision, in. They made the decision early on, and the president made the decision, I'm not going to expand my, my circle of friends. That's absolutely true. It's well, the other. smartest guy in the room, complex. It's also the thing that, that, that isn't, it isn't perhaps just these brilliantly, you know, adaptable course correction stuff that, uh, uh, that Clinton did. He also had run and managed things and experienced as a governor the, the need to manage and change and make these executive decisions. And I think that Obama, one of his biggest lacks has been the executive experience, perhaps, so that he understands how to manage. I mean, this healthcare thing is almost a classic, you know, inability to kind of oversee in a managerial granular sense, you know, how something is going to be. I well always done. thought it was such a joke during the 19 uh, during the 2008 campaign everybody talked about the courage of Barack Obama being against the Iraq war when he came from a district that where that was actually the politically safe move to make he was a running you know he was in a state senate district in Illinois in Hyde Park where it was a safe move to make where Bill Clinton going back to Bill Clinton now you could say Ronald Reagan in California in 1966 uh, you know, or you can talk about FDR or right. TR, where they had to deal with people that didn't agree with them 100% of the time. You know, Bill Clinton was a Democrat in Arkansas. In a conservative state. Yeah. In a conservative state. Yeah. So, I mean, you tell me, is there anything in the president's uh, biography that suggests that he can come out and do what Bill Clinton did in 94 and say basically, hey, we screwed up, yeah. we hear you? we're going to change. My fear actually is that the biographical impulse is the opposite. That having to raise himself, having to be so self-reliant, you know, the father gone, the mother, you know, um, that his, what, what his life taught him, what his first 44 years taught him is that if he relies on himself, <coughs> he'll do well. It's interesting. And he becomes president of the United States when he's, yeah. what, 44 years Six. old or whatever, 46. Um, and so that, you know, that psychological makeup leads to a kind of. I'm going to count on me and nobody else, and right. I stay in the court. Yeah, well, yeah. it's subject was so, he won the presidency. Yeah. So, Chuck.